guys welcome back this is not your boy here Adam Sling. how you guys doing welcome to another video please try as much as possible guys as usual to support your boy like this video comment share it to all the platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook i don't think make sure you subscribe and uh click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload also good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from so guys uh mainly i'll be talking about Pastor Dumeji and another pastor recently blast Christopher Kote over TB Joshua comment calling TB Joshua is Satan. Well, I'm going to be looking at that, so stay tuned. I'll come to, to, towards the end of the video. And uh, firstly, guys, check out a man who ghost his wife and kids to marry another wife, to marry another woman abroad. But to their benefits, though. So the question is, uh, um, uh, to the guys, can you summon the courage to do the same thing to all the married men out there? Uh, the person who wrote this, his name is Sir Dixon. He said, "Summary. He, summary is no be every plan that they tell woman." Say a family friend traveled to the US without informing his wife and two old son in Nigeria. With the help, with the help of a mutual friend, he got a job and also arranged marriage with four months. Fast forward five years later, marriage contract was over and they divorced. With his America passport in his possession. The following month, he showed up in Nigeria. Unannounced, found his wife still holding the family down. Even though she looked tattered, he apologized to his wife and son. Same year, he, f he, f he, he filed for his wife and son, and within 10 months, he moved both of them to USA with him. I later asked why he ghosted his wife like that. He said, hi, and quote, had I told her of my plans, she will never understand, and that could have discouraged me. He left a woman five good years. <laughs> Which woman will even agree for one year? I don't blame the woman, no. I know that woman won't even see any reason to it. No woman will do that. Do that. See reasons to your husband to go outside, marry a white lady just to get a passport for complete five years. Yeah. They knock another woman out there for complete five years. And you came back. You are a lucky one. You are a lucky one. See, well, can you comment below, guys? Because that is really, I don't think I will encourage any woman to do that kind of stuff or any man to come on, man. Five years is too much. If it's five months, it's understandable. Five years later, come on, it's too much, man. Way too much. And I check out this trendy video, sorry, picture. A lady who linked up with a hair boyfriend with, with his current girlfriend she said they don't like you but still find time to watch everything you do with my hairs and his new lover man you dated yourself oh. you dated yourself and even if you guys dated that guy lied to to his uh, current girlfriend that man you are someone she he knew from somewhere that you are not related or, or related sexually or anything if you think that your guy told his current lover that you are his ex you are joking i do not think he actually told her but after if you come across this post of course he's still going to defend himself that just how it is it turns out this guy said, my friend's girlfriend got engaged by her other boyfriend two days ago. Another guy stumbled on a video of her saying yes three times with a big smile and sent it to us. We all been laughing since with a lot of us saying, oh, my girlfriend 
came for a sleepover yesterday. She thinks we don't know. We were all gisting about how men has come scam. She has been defending men. Oh, my guy had an exploring night last night, Sha. Today he will send her the video by WhatsApp when she leaves his place and capture happy Sunday our fiancé. The word calm is not gender specific. Guy, I will advise you, don't send that video now. Enjoy the lady well first. After when she is at the point of getting married, you, you let her go. Don't send that don't send the video now. One thing about the difference between uh men and women is that when a lady find uh, finds similar stuff that a boyfriend is getting engaged to another woman, she immediately runs to social media and say, Man, that's calm. I was heartbroken. All those stuff. Then she and her friend will be castigating, cursing out. But when it happens to a guy, ah, I'm flexing now. It's a huge wahala of my head. A huge body just out there. Come on, man. I'm flexing now. We continue to the shit. That is how it is. <laughs> but I don't encourage that, though. Yeah? I don't encourage that. And uh, meanwhile, uh, did you copy things? She had C19. And she has done tests severally, and the test shows that she doesn't have C19. But it seems like the way she's seeing it, she see, it, it, it seems like she wants to get C19. It feels like I have COVID. But I've done like three PCRs and they're all negative. But boy, I'm going through it. I have so many COVID type symptoms, but I don't have COVID. Well, guys, like I've said, it seems like you want to get it because uh, numero test shows you don't have it, but you keep insisting that you have it. <laughs> Uh, you get fever, you get malaria because of the cold, and uh, you just want to make sure to really, really know if you have C90 or not. Well, guys, uh, there was a really heartbreaking incident a few days ago, about two days ago, and uh, the president has even reacted to it. He said, I have ordered the perpetrators to be fished out. President Boy react as 22, 22 travelers are killed along Plateau Highway. So disheartening, guys. No fewer than 22 travelers were killed by yet to be identified person along the Ghana Biu Kuba Road area of just the Plateau State Capital on Saturday, August 14th. About 50 of the travelers were moving in convoy of five Homer buses and they were attacked. 22 of them were killed while others sustained serious injuries. The, assass the, the assassins reportedly dragged the victim out of the, the vehicle which were trapped in a gridlock and then killed many of them using machete, dagger, knives, stones and other dangerous weapons. Quite unfortunate, guys. Well, the president has reacted to it and uh, he has ordered the security agencies to immediately fish out all the perpetrators. So, guys, uh, let us still watch and see what will happen. And I hope uh, we have peace in this country. And uh, I hope everything just goes well. Honestly, so many killings happening every day. So many killings, guys. So many, many killings. It's quite unfortunate. And uh, check out a sick student who was reportedly beaten to death by his teacher in Abuja. Teacher allegedly beat sick student to death for not completing his assignment. So the teacher identifies simply as Mrs. Gibson. Allegedly beat the 13 years old to death on Monday, August 19, 2021, for not completing his assignment. 
according to Wa Ashia, who shared the news on Facebook, that faithful money Aliyu complained of not feeling well and went to school cleaning, but was turned back because he hasn't eaten. He then went back to class and his teacher demanded for his assignment, which he didn't complete. She then decided to punish him. She hit him with a bucket handle on his head several times and after she left him, he passed out and was rushed to the hospital where he was confirmed dead. The family is demanding for justice. Hi. My opinion, beating students in classes should not be encouraged. You know why? If you can give students, if you can give pupils assignments to carry home, uh, to carry home to their parents, to assist them, you should also be able to report when, whenever they fail to do that particular assignment to their parents to punish. Now, okay, you guys that support beating. Now, this man and this young student is dead. What do you want the parents to do about it? What do you want? What do you want the principal, the school authorities to do about it? Is beating legal in Nigeria? No, it's not. Show me where. Because some of you will be like, okay, it's still good. They beat us when, when we were young. So they should also uh, uh, punish. Because uh, if you don't punish them, they won't know. We have this uh, uh, soft arm towards our children. Okay, and now you don't die. <laughs> Are you going to serve the time or any kind of punishment mounted on that uh, teacher? Kindly, uh, kindly uh, answer that question, guys. And uh, before we move over to TB, Pastor TB Joshua, this is what is coming from Alibaba. He said, most women don't have a problem with a broke man. They have a problem with a man who is comfortable being broke. Exactly, I've said it before. You have to watch out for the kind of partner you're picking. There are people who, who are broke mentally, physically in fact their their entire body is just written in brokenness just being broke but there are people who are broke in their pockets they don't have any money but they are not broke mentally and physically they can hustle they want to hustle they have a dream to fulfill all those kind of men yes watch out for them as well they are good men but those people who are broke physically, mentally, especially here. If a person is broke here, don't have any kind of idea. Here, man, that person is finished. That person is the kind of person I will advise you not to ever consider even talking to. Well, guys, so let's move over to Pastor Dumeji and our other pastor, his name is also Joshua. Last Crystal Quotes here over to the Joshua comments. So Crystal Quotes here a few days ago caused out TB Joshua saying that uh, he is a Satan. Well, the Inda Boski himself came out to blast uh, Crystal Quotes here and another pastor as well. So that is the video that we're going to watch before we call it a wrap. Hey, fellow prophet, Emmanuel TB Joshua Dig his chair, dig his duty without a social man, but the lion become a social man, and you are still talking. He is not a social man, and you are still talking. I want to correct an person that I want to speak something. And there was a man that don't want the general to rest in peace and allow their family to mourn the general. And this man is Prince Okotie. Young man, we have respected you enough. And I have never seen you done anything in this life. I have never seen you save any soul. I have never seen you done one miracle that TB Joshua have ever done. But you come out and say that TB Joshua is a devil. And you started to analyze the ways. When I answer Emmanuel, that is means I am a devil to answer the name of my father. When I name my church synagogue, because you have right to name 
you have sworn your name. You have right to, you are sworn to answer your name. If you answer the name of Jesus Christ, is it wrong? Is it mean that we are Christ? And we must answer the name of our Father. And you start to come out and start to try to prove yourself. And you wake up one day and said that they appointed you. You have sent messages to, uh, uh, to many parties and tell them that you are the president of this nation. When I'm looking at you, I see that you are possessed. And listen to me. When you face the general, when you want to talk about a man, before you start to speak against anybody, then you bring your video in your qualification. That means that two of you people are in, in, in equal. That is when you have your own higher video than his own. When you cannot do what a man do, you have no right to talk about him because you are not in the same level and you are not in the same qualification. You are not in the same spiritual balance. You are too far canal for whom TB Joshua is to open up your mouth. And when I see you say you want to rule Nigeria, I see you that you, you are suffering from, uh, I don't know, I, you are suffering from you need to be, you need you need a date to collect your senses and don't listen to me i don't reply people with the stories i reply them with the deadly spiritual weapon a woman of god can call police i don't call police I don't call lawyer. I am a man of power. One a jili fena wobala a year group. I heard that Pastor Cree um is it Chris Okoti or Okoti talking about TV Joshua? After a man has died, gone to glory. You've laid him to rest. The whole place is calm. The family are feeling the pains of the loss of their loved one. Don't ask me, why, why do you like defending? I'm not defending, I'm in the prophetic ministry. You shoot an arrow, I will shoot it back to you. You talking, that he's using that and that. I was not born again. Analyzing the name Joshua. My name is Joshua. So it is now an error to bear Joshua. That if you bear Joshua, it means you are occulting because it is Yahushua. That he was sharing the same name with Christ. So you bearing Chris, are you not sharing the same name with Christ? Pastor Chris Okoti is a disgrace. To the body of Christ. How how do you talk about the dead in this manner? How? How? Don't you know that those who live in glass house don't throw stones to others in glass house? You did politics, you failed. Ministry, you failed. I've told you if you live one thousand years. You cannot stand the exploit of Prophet T.B. Joshua. I'm not talking as a small man. He is my friend and I was connected to him and I'm not ashamed. And I'm, when I hear him, he's talking because he wants me to be famous when I'm already famous. Okutie is having a problem. He needs a psychiatric attention. My name is Joshua Idila. Chris Okoti, leave prophet T.P. Joshua. My name is Joshua Igila. I am alive. Face me. But honestly, guys, it's quite unfortunate that after this man had died, that is when this pastor, uh, Chris Okoti, get the mind, get the infantry to be coming out to castigate him. Why didn't he castigate him while he was alive? Huh? You call yourself a, a man of God, are you? Castigate, say the truth. Say the truth when you see someone. Not after the person is gone, you start talking. Well, thank you guys for watching. It's a boy here. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day. I stay blessed.